What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. James Bond, Brian. When I saw the thumbnail, this didn't look like Bond to me. When I hear Aaron Taylor Johnson and his voice and what he's done, I just don't see it, Brian. I certainly see Richard Madden as 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 as, as a Bond. There's other people that can do this, Brian. He just doesn't fit that. They're going. They're certainly going for a younger look, and this is something that they've said that they wanted to do. Correct? Yes. What do you feel? How do you feel about that? So the report is that an offer's been made, and the job is his if he wants it. Um, as you say, Aaron Taylor Johnson's 33 years old. That would certainly be in the sweet spot of what the Broccoli family has said they previously wanted. Although all of their comments to date have indicated we're years off from seeing the next iteration of Bond on screen. So take the rumor with a, with a grain of salt. And this is not the first time Aaron Taylor Johnson has been attached to this role, right? There was mm -hmm. a previous report last year that he had auditioned and blown them away with his characterization of, of, of James Bond of 007. Hey, if they're blown away... Let's see. Uh, but I'm with say. you. I'm with you. I think his his credits to date, I have not seen the degree of suave we've come to associate with the character. And I texted you about the voice. He's got a his natural affect is a very high pitched voice. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. to me, it doesn't that's come no, across as smooth. Yeah. I mean, if you think about the bonds that we've had, one thing they've all had is a voice, right? Yeah, Connery yeah. on Connery Moore. Even Dalton, Brosnan, and certainly Craig, they all have this very distinctive British commanding lower register. And Aaron yes. Taylor Johnson doesn't have that. Exactly. Now maybe he can create it. Actors can change their voice, but I I'm skeptical. I haven't heard it or seen it just yet. This would be a leap from what we've seen, I think. People tend to look at bullet train to, to sort of uh, I haven't seen Bullet Train. I just, I have. I have. I, I, I mean, I, no, I don't. I don't agree. I mean, I don't no. think it's Bond though. Like Richard Madden in Citadel is a lot closer to a Bond than Aaron Taylor Johnson in Bullet Train. Like he's he's an assassin. I mean, okay, yeah. but but he's got long hair. He's got like facial hair. It's not. He doesn't carry and comport himself like we we know classic 007 to be. So no, I think it's a leap. And like when we've seen him in more earnest roles, like for example, he's like a soldier in Godzilla. Um, he, he, it just doesn't, it just doesn't play quite, quite yeah. that way that, but like I said, maybe he has it. Maybe he, maybe he showed it in the audition um, in something we haven't seen before, but I don't know that this is something that would electrify the fan base. And, and I have to stick this in there because if this is true, I don't quite understand the rush to sign him. And here's yeah. why I say that. So, so it's not like he's Chalamet, like headlining huge box office winners right now. And he's going to headline right. Craven later this year, which could be a massive disaster. disaster. So are you sure? Like, why not hold that? If this is true, That's why, true. Do have to, why, not, why do you have to send the contract right now? Why can't you send it after that movie comes out just to see how it does before you... I don't know. Like, not that that should determine it 100%. Like, look at what Dakota Johnson has gone through after Madam Web. Like, people talking about she's going to have trouble getting some work because of, like, I mean, just, it's Bond. Like, you can wait. Like, you have the leverage in the negotiation if you're if you're the Bro Broccoli fan. So I'm a little surprised that this is, like, on the table now if they're saying the movie is still a few years away. How old is Timothy Chalamet? I think he's, like, 24. 23. It would be interesting to see the early years of Bond, like before MI6, like really going, because he has a backstory, right? We 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 hear the mention of it, right? It would be yeah. interesting to see. Well, I mean, the, sign, sign the, Cra the Craig contract. Bond tried to tell the origin, right? I mean, the Craig Bond tried to tell yeah, the origin, right? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Um, Casino Royale, he gets the 007 designation, basically, yes. or has just gotten it. So. He has gotten it, yes. And Skyfall kind of goes into some of his family history exactly so they try to do a bit of that but yeah like i said if you're looking for something that's going to be like a massive gets the attention of a younger audience and generation for this character I'm, I'm not convinced aaron taylor johnson is that guy neither do i neither do i and no knock on him i think he no he's a good actor and he's done some good stuff but this i don't this is just a miscast 
if it's true. That's why I'm a little yeah. bit like I'm a little skeptical, but we'll see. Because yeah. I thought they were gonna wait for Craven to come out to see. Okay, this is <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because Sony is not on a track record of delivering amazing stuff, and it's it's quite pathetic. That's, that's the understatement of the week. <laughs> Although they might be in on the joke, Pablo, if Venom is called The Last Dance. They might be oh, in on the joke now. Goodness, yes. <laughs> the Last Dance. Really? Who this is what this is the, this is why we ask. Who is in the room saying yes? Let's go with that. Oh. What the hell are we doing here, Harry? That's a title you associate with like a, a comedic spoof of a franchise. Mm -hmm. Like that, that's the kind of thing I would expect, right? From like National Lampoon superhero <laughs> vacation <laughs> to really last vacation. Like, I, I you know. Last dance, Venom? The, it just doesn't, like if you would have came to me with the first time with this pitch, I'd be like, no, no. I've seen commentary uh, 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 on this title, Brian, and you can already tell that people are They're like, what? It's, what's the point of all this? And I still don't know what Venom... Venom 2, Brian, was horrible, Brian. I regret yeah, seeing it in the theaters. I'm not a fan. I know I made a decent that. money, but yeah. And I know we're... You know, the reason why we've got these connected is because Aaron... T like, I want Craven to be good. J.C. Chander is a quality director. Like, I want that to be a good movie. I just, again... I didn't think Aaron Taylor Johnson was inspired casting for that role. And it's you know, now we're seeing him maybe be in James Bond and that might be a miscast as well. I don't know. It's like, it could be a case of a solid actor who's kind of in the wrong, in the wrong shoes a couple of times. Uh, I will leave you since we're talking about a little bit of Sony stuff. Michael Keaton, perhaps with the mic drop of the week was asked about his cameo as the vulture in Morbius <laughs> quote, even they couldn't quite explain it. He said, he <laughs> He said, look, let me just kind of tell you. And I go, okay, I really don't quite know what you're talking about or even who some of these people are, end quote. What are we doing? Again, what are we doing here, Harry? That's all you can ask. Like, what are we doing here? What's the end goal? Because this, yo, at least this doesn't look like what I hate, Ryan, not knowing where I'm going. But I need to know where we're going. I need to know what is our next move. Because if not, what are we doing? Because it's just a waste of time just standing around, you know? Well, again, it goes to this thing that we've seen with, you know, credit scenes gone wild, right? It's like we forget what made them compelling at their <laughs> origin, right? When, it, when, it, when Samuel L. Jackson shrouded in shadow appears in Tony Stark's home, or when Thanos turns to the camera, you forget like that is about story. It's not about, it's not really about who is even in the screen at that moment. Yeah, it's about the yeah. story that's being conveyed in a quick clip, but it became celebrity photo central. That's Man, what it yeah. turned into. They should just get this done, Brian. And that is, Michael Keaton, Batman Beyond. Let's stop, stop, stop playing games. It's right there. Stop playing games. Forget about the Flash. Flashpoint, whatever that was, forget about it. Bring back Keaton as Batman Beyond. The old Batman. And, and, and the new Terry McGinnis. Do that. And we'll be fine. I think they chose, I mean, honestly, I think they chose Brave and the Bold over that. I don't think they can do Batman Beyond right now with that oh. mentor, mentor, mentee already. Um, gotcha, I really gotcha, don't. Gotcha. I think it'd be too much. I think you'd be put, really pushing it on how many Batman you could you could have walking around, even though he'd be older than, in theory, our hope for the rich in Batman. But yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. I feel bad too, because I think one of the things that like, he did a good job, I think, in The Flash. Like, he's one of the best parts yeah. of the movie. He he took the part, to his credit, he showed up and took the part seriously 20 years later, or yeah. more than that, 30 years later. Yeah. Um, and it's a shame it's that it kind of got wasted in a movie that wasn't all that. 
Yeah. Like I would just like to see Keaton as 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 playing the old Batman. I, it would be hard for 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 me to sort of take seriously an older Batman whom we don't know. You know what I'm saying? We should not see another other than Tom Holland Spider Man. We should, which could be a disaster if Sony gets its way. We should not be seeing. Well, we should know, but if we, we'll know is a disaster, depending on how much I think Tom Holland gets paid. I think we'll know it's a disaster if it's a multiversal movie or a streets movie. Certainly. That's it. That would be that's another it. ingredient. I think that's a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, it's just a, a lot. A lot is going on in the superhero genre, and um, it hasn't. It doesn't seem to be going in a way in a sense of because of fatigue people just keep continuing to double down and just trying to give us better stuff but yet it's too late we already made all this stuff or in the process of making this stuff that we have to put it out and uh, hope for the best i guess brian and just wait and see because let us know in the comments says below what is it that you're looking forward to because certainly nothing, Sony. I can't think of something Marvel. Deadpool 3. I mean, that's... Okay, okay, it's okay. It's an event. Okay. That's an event. Yes, 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 yes. A circus, we called it. I, I called it a circus. Yeah, it's an event. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get a, uh, a colleague of mine who was... She was on the show on all the Marvel, all the Netflix shows. Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Daredevil 1, 2, I believe 3. Um, so I'm trying to get on the show to discuss her experience on those shows. And again, she was there for all of it. So it will be interesting to sort of ask her questions about that Nobu fight, how they set that up and all that. So, Brian, if I can get on the show. Um, get your questions because she was there. She was there for all of it. That'd be awesome. The show goes on. Yeah!